In this matter, and I associate totally with my learned friend James Orengo, with whom I have not argued a matter on the same side for 20 years. So I am quite happy with this recent development. <laughs> I am quite happy uh, to associate with James Orengo's very, very, in my very humble view, very well thought out argument that a political process must be permitted to evolve politically. And a judicial intervention commends itself where that process is complete and a legal product exists to which the judges then say this cannot be allowed to stand. Let me give you an example. One of the proposed uh, changes is to bring in a judicial ombudsman. I personally don't know whether that is good or bad or whatever. But I can possibly see a day if this uh, referendum were successful, where somebody would come and say, I am attacking only that section. Because as it reads now, it is inconsistent with that section. And it undermines that framework. That would be a jurisdiction that I personally would entertain and would say the judges are the best people to speak about that. So to my very humble view, the judges exercised a jurisdiction that the people of Kenya reserved for the Supreme Court. <clears throat> Only the Supreme Court of Kenya can issue an advisory opinion. The High Court decided to give an advisory opinion.